Hey everybody, so I just wanted to speak about like all of us go through various different emotions and various different, you know, I'm feeling great today or I'm not feeling great today or, you know, I'm so busy because I have all these things on my plate or, you know, I'm caring for an elderly parent and I'm stressed out about that or, you know, I have this trauma that I'm dealing with in, you know, therapy. Um, or, you know, I've got this project and it has a deadline and I really need to get these tasks done on the project. So the point is any day, you know, we can be at a certain spot or a certain place based on all the things that are on our plate, not just the individual thing of, Hey, I'm dealing with trauma in my body and I'm trying to heal it. It's that plus the paperwork, plus the family expectations and responsibilities plus the paperwork running a business handling emails it's all of those variables and at any given time okay somebody sees a snapshot of you in that one moment and they make a judgment about you and they assume that all the time you're like this which is completely unrealistic now here's the bottom line for the most part we have a dominant way of being, okay? And my dominant way of being is that I'm direct. I'm in your face, I'm gonna tell it like it is, and that's the way that I roll, okay? That's what makes me, me, okay? Now, in terms of the content and the context of what I'm doing in the moment will determine how I'm going to respond or react or share depending on who I'm with, is it one-on-one, -on -one? is it a small group, is it a large group, is this something that's a public thing on social media, is this something that I'm doing privately in my own home, I mean all of those variables are going to make an impact of how you're showing up in the moment. Now right now, I don't care about the way that I look, okay, I've got my hair is what it is, I've got a hat on covering my hair, I just finished um, physical therapy. I was rolling all over the floor on mats and stretching my body out and doing physical fitness and I probably stink because I was running on the treadmill. The point is if you look at me in this one snapshot and then you say oh she's a dirty person she didn't clean her hair and then you make a judgment about me because you saw me in this particular fashion one day and then you just assume that I'm always like that well that would be a false statement. Okay, and this is what I'm trying to get you to see about people on social media. Now, for the most part, if you look at my social media versus, let's say, some girl that's constantly putting on piles of makeup and doing her hair, I'm never going to be that girl, okay? Because I'm not a hoity-toity, high-maintenance girl that does all this stuff with makeup. It's just not me. It's never been me. It will never be me. So if you're looking for somebody that has simple hair, that doesn't wear makeup, that's me, okay? But if you're looking for a high maintenance girl and you're looking for videos that look perfect and have perfect lighting and you know the girl puts on all these layers of makeup, that's not me. So again, you're gonna vibe with your tribe. You're gonna go to who you feel comfortable with. And if you feel comfortable listening to somebody that has piles of makeup on and they can't go out of the house without all that makeup on, then that's your person, right? But if you wanna deal with somebody who is just practical, simple, doesn't have any makeup, throws her hair in a hat, wears sweatshirts, and is really simple. That's me, okay? Now, can I dress up and wear a dress and a pair of heels and look presentable? Yes. Is it my preferred way of being? No, it isn't. I have many injuries, and I don't like wearing heels. It's not comfortable for my body. It just isn't, okay? So, can I do it? Yes, for a short period of time. But am I going to show up consistently in something that just hurts me? No, I'm not. And it's not practical. Ask any chiropractor about heels and they'll give you the truth. They're going to tell you not to wear them. So there it is. What do I like to wear? Ugg boots, flat tennis shoes, flip flops. Those are my favorite types of shoes. So if you're looking for an athletic, simple person that's going to be practical, that's me. Okay. Now, 
again, I was starting this whole video about a snapshot and how people will look at you through a lens and they'll think that you're always this way. Now, do we all have a dominant way of being or a dominant trait? Yes, okay? But that doesn't mean that we are that thing all the time, okay? And sometimes I'm gonna post about things that are gonna make people uncomfortable. And that's okay. I'm not trying to make them comfortable. I'm trying to wake them up. So if they feel uncomfortable, I've achieved my job. You know, I've done my job. I've reached my audience. I've made them uncomfortable. That's my purpose. I'm trying to make you uncomfortable. Because when you're comfortable, you're not growing. And somebody could say the same thing to me about, I don't like wearing heels. And they might say, well, keep wearing heels and then I'll get more comfortable wearing heels. That may be true. But when a doctor tells me not to wear heels, I'm going to listen to the doctor. So again, you got to pick your battles. You got to pick your battles. I hope this helps. Have a good afternoon.